Well, Mayor Lori Lightfoot showed her hand today, telling state lawmakers the city needs a casino to help solve its massive budget hole. CBS2 political investigator Dana Kosloff is live in the state capitol. Dana, there was no clear wins for the mayor today. Not yet today, Erica and Brad, but Mayor Lightfoot says she knows she has to play the long game. Coming down here to the state capitol was one way to introduce herself to lawmakers who might not know her in hopes that it pays off. Mayor Lori Lightfoot emerged from a House Democrat meeting in Springfield with some humor Hello, my friends are here. and little doubt that hopes for a revenue raising real estate transfer tax is all but dead. We continue to have uh, I think productive conversations with legislators and um, with the coalition and we'll see what's possible. The mayor made her second trip to Springfield since taking office to put out feelers about that tax and focus on striking a deal for a future Chicago casino. The casino is needed for future pension related budget dollars, the transfer tax to fill a $50 million hole in her budget for next year. But the mayor says she has a backup plan, albeit vague. Our focus has been on trying to avoid a property tax increase if that's necessary. So we put, a, we put an alternative in depending on uh, what happens um, here. But it's a series of cuts. Many lawmakers, including suburban Republicans, say a transfer tax is out of the question. We need to cut spending in the state, not raise taxes. I'm voting against the real estate transfer tax if it comes to the floor. Uh, is it even a bill that you know of? Not yet. But a casino is still in the cards. One factor for lawmakers, how the south suburbs might benefit. Another, keeping casino taxes at a level that attracts builders. It's all part of the mayor's cell. I think the mayor was very persuasive. She's very good at laying out her argument and she made a lot of really good points. I'm a blank piece of paper to, to many of them and I think it's important for me to come and speak for what we need in the city of Chicago and not just do it by phone. The governor also met with uh, the mayor today and the governor called those meetings productive. She also met with uh, leaders down here. The mayor will head back to Chicago tonight, but the veto session continues throughout the week. Live in Springfield, Dana Kozlov, CBS2 News. All right, Dana Kozlov, our thanks.